okay so yeah anyways i'm so awkward i'm so sorry <laughs> gonna apologize for the lighting right now um it's not the best but we're gonna make it work but anyways what is up everybody my name is mj and i am going to be talking about how i prepared and tips to kind of help study for the pax exam and if you clicked on this video it's probably because you're looking for like tips and study guides to prepare for this exam and yeah let's just get straight into it um so the pax exam uh let's just talk a, a little bit information about that it's an exam that consists of three exams which is the verbal the math and the science so you i believe the verbal is 60 questions the science is 40 and and the science is 60. so i took the pax exam i believe it was in may and and it depends on the college but you know you have the pax exam the t's and i believe the hesse they're basically just college entrance exams that allow you to apply to a nursing program. You know, you have to get a certain percentile score in order to get into a nursing program. So yeah, anyways, I'm so awkward. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but um, I'm because I was trying to look up youtube videos and i didn't really see a lot on the pax exam there was more of like the t's and the hesse's so hopefully this video will help somebody um so starting with the verbal so the verbal is 60 questions and you have 60 minutes to complete this exam so there is 30 questions for word knowledge and 30 for a short passage so they give you a, a passage to read well it's it says short passage but it's it's pretty long so you kind of have to like read it fast and then also um interpret it and then answer the questions so starting with the word knowledge this one was kind of hard for me to study because you don't know what words they're gonna throw at you so um this book that i have this this is a holy grail i know you guys seen this and if you are contemplating on getting it you should definitely get this book because it not only gives you tips and but it also gives you like three like whole exams to practice and then like it gives you explanations of you know why that answer is correct and you can just study them but for the verbal what i did is i used the book and it has a lot of um of the definitions and the words that they used on the test like i'm not gonna tell you a word and i'm gonna tell you to study that because it's 100 percent gonna be on that test like no every every test is different so what i did is i tried to learn as much words as possible that's in this book and also on quizlet and i'm not even gonna lie like i probably studied like about like 100 150 words um i actually have some of the this is the deck that i used and this on top of quizlet and then on top of this book yeah um so there's not really a way to kind of study like which words are going to be on the test You're, you just need to like know certain words um so for example i'm gonna give you guys like a couple words so this one i believe this was one of the words that was on my exam and it was celestial celestial and it means heavenly 
and then there was words like abrasions which is scrapes apex the highest point um gauntlet which means glove i believe that one was on my test and it, it's just words that like you know that are just so random but you need to know um i will link the quizlet the quizlet study guide that i used that was really helpful because it had flashcards and every night before i go to sleep um i would i would open my quizlet app and just go over as much words as i could until i fall asleep and that's one of the things that you guys need to do is kind of set a time frame because you're, you're retaining a lot of information when you study for these types of exams so i would say about three to four weeks or like a month to study for this exam for sure um but yeah and then i i did pretty well on the the vocab because i did like i said i studied a lot of words the 30 short passage questions i didn't really study for like the passage questions because um personally i'm pretty good at interpreting uh like passages and kind of answering the questions so it was i believe it was six passages and then five questions each um where i messed up is i was not paying attention to the timer so when i was in my last passage when i thought i was in my last passage i wasn't and i had a whole nother you know passage to read and i only had like two to three minutes so i kind of had to like guess in the last passage but yeah definitely make time you guys have to do your your time management because these are these are time exams so yeah they have practice passages that you can read and then answer the questions so yeah okay so moving on to the math portion so they did allow a, a calculator and a whiteboard for the math portion and that really helped as well because they did give like questions like you could you could literally do on the calculator like you know turn this number into a decimal and like you can just do that on the calculator but for the math um i haven't took in a math class since i think it was statistics and that was like last year and this was kind of like basic math like geometry decimals percentages um data interpretation uh, how I studied for this one is there was a professor on YouTube that gave uh, worksheets of examples of the PAX math exam or the PAX math questions and I honestly I, I think it was like a two two to three hour video and I, I watched the whole video and just listen to him how he how he explained and solved the problems and that really helped a lot like refresh everything for the biggest part the one that i didn't do pretty well on but you know i i still did pretty adequate was the science portion so for this portion you have 60 questions and you have to do it in 60 minutes so much information that you know you kind of learned like in high school and middle school and like things that i've never even learned before anyway so i remember some of the the questions that on on my exam and most of them most of them were chemistry based like i cannot emphasize that enough like you have to know your chemistry um like elements compounds um chemistry equations that like what's the equation for glucose or the fermentation equation or something like that 
you know you you need to know how to balance the chemistry equations so like all the the atoms are like neutral and stuff like that but yeah um chemistry 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 this book i'm telling you get this book because it helped a lot and quizlet um what also came up in my science was not a lot of anatomy which i was really surprised about but what was on there was the reproductive system i studied like for the eye i studied for the bones and like everything it was just anyways um physics there was a lot of physics in there and then um which this book has everything it has biology it has ecology um neurons and chemistry uh i didn't really know a lot about physics but you you need to know the definition of like the fusion and the fission i had a couple questions about wavelengths okay here it is here it goes right here and how to read a voltmeter yeah i'm gonna show you guys this okay this question was definitely on my exam this one as well and then this one this one is basically asking what type of circuit is in the diagram and it's the parallel one because they have the same voltage across like you can see that they're, they're they have the same um but yeah, uh, you need to know velocity, the equation to do that, the ecosystem, so like food webs and like who's in the, the higher food web chain or something like that. You need to know ionic and like polar and non-polar covalent bonds and everything like that so yeah that is the most that i can remember from my from my exam um this was actually the second time that i took my pax exam because the first the first time i took it i think i studied for two weeks and then i took the exam and i just i think i was like two two or three questions below the, the score that I had to have in order to apply to the program and in my state you have to meet the percentile rate or the score in order to apply to the program and so yeah I was pretty bummed but this time around I did study for at least a month and I will be starting my first quarter as a nursing student fall 2022 and I am super excited about that. So, back to the tips. I'm gonna say tip number one, make the time to study. I will probably, if if it's a month, I would probably say study at least two to three hours a day. Don't like progressively, you know, overload and study because I don't know. I just, I don't think that's very effective um so yeah give give yourself time to study you can make the appointment just you know give yourself time to you know make sure like okay i set this date i'm going to study like right now up until that date second is quizlet quizlet for the vocab i actually quizlet for everything and then youtube videos that really helped me a lot um like i said i'm going to link all the quizlet study guides and the youtube professor that i used for the math um and then i'll also be linking this because i got this on amazon and it comes with like a dvd so you can yeah um but yeah and then the third is time management because it is 
behind exams and you have to make sure that you have time for each of the questions you don't want to just like get up to a, get to a point where like you have to guess because each point counts honestly each each point really does count um all of these questions are multiple choice so you kind of have to you know kind of if you don't know the answer to something you know make an educated guess or you know make your your best guess honestly like for the vocab like there's words that you're just gonna be like okay never heard this word in my whole life you know but you kind of just have to you know pick the best one and my last tip is probably is to have a positive attitude stay confident you know when i'm taking a big exam like this i always like to say like words of affirmation like okay like i got this like i'm going to pass it this, is this exam you know i studied for this so you know thank you guys for watching this video i hope it helped a lot stay tuned for my next video because i am going to start making nursing school videos so i'm gonna be having more time to study and stuff like that so if you guys want more videos let me know and i'll see you guys later